Hi everyone, Chef Mark with the Pine Factory Fine Lines. Today, I'm gonna to go over my signature dessert, chocolate truffle tart. And it just takes five ingredients. And here's three of them. One of them's pie dough. I'm gonna show you how to make this quick and easy dessert, and it's sure to wow your friends. I've got three ingredients for the filling. I've got six ounces of heavy cream, eight ounces of semi-sweet chocolate chips, and two eggs. I just need the yolks. And then here's my pie dough. You can buy this. I made from mine from scratch and rolled it out. And if you're making pie dough, it's three ingredients, really two, because one of them is water. That comes out of the sink. We don't have to run to the grocery store for that. And that would be three parts flour, two parts butter, and one part water that I carefully mix together. So not counting water, I've got one, two, three, four, five ingredients. That's all this recipe is, and it tastes amazing. Let me show you how to make the filling. Okay, I brought my cream here to a boil. I'm gonna add my chocolate. And I'm gonna start stirring immediately. We don't wanna get the chocolate so hot that it breaks into, it's kind of that oil slick, that milk fats and milk salads. So I'm very careful, gonna keep stirring this. And what I'm making here is a ganache. And that's just chocolate that's been melted into typically cream. And I'm just gonna stir until it's nice and smooth. And once it's perfectly smooth, I'm gonna add my egg yolks. Okay, my eggs are completely combined. My cream and my chocolate are all melted. And now it's time to go into my tart shell. And what makes this work is that we've made a custard. A custard is anytime you're combining eggs and dairy. The eggs help provide lofts and thickening. I pour that directly into the center of my tart shell here. And this is gonna go in the oven. The beautiful thing about this recipe is that if you undercook it a little bit, it's very fudgy, but if you overcook it, it gets a little bit more crisp. So there's really no right or wrong, but I would recommend starting at about 30 minutes at 375 convection oven. I definitely recommend baking this on a tray in case the pan leaks, it doesn't get all over your oven. This is finally ready to go in. My chocolate truffle tart is finally cooled off and it's best to let these cool off for a couple of hours. You don't want to attempt cook, cutting into this if it has any temperature at all. So let me make sure it's at room temperature. And when you unmold one of these, if you're using a tart pan that has a false bottom, it couldn't be easier. You simply lift up the false bottom. It's now sitting on the plate that was baked on, and I like to take it off of that plate before I cut it, as not to damage that bottom plate. If you put too many cut marks into this plate, your pastry will start to stick to this in future applications. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut a wedge. And here's a little tip when I'm cutting a wedge. I like to make a cut across, just score, and cut across and score. So now I have a guideline by which to cut, and I'm gonna cut each one of these in half. Cut that in half. Just kind of follow my guidelines there. Here's my wedge. Isn't that lovely? Look at that, it's nice and silky and wonderful. I'm gonna garnish this with just a couple of raspberries like so. And we're ready to eat. This is Chef Mark with the Pine Factory and Fine Lines.